Today, I'm going to be reviewing a pair of walking shoes from the company Fitfill. If you're interested in finding out more about these shoes, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Fitville for sending out this pair of shoes. This is the Rebound Core that I'm going to be reviewing today. So the backstory, why am I reviewing walking shoes? Considering the theme of my channel is primarily out in the woods, where does walking shoes fit in with this? Well, it actually goes back to late last summer and I was we, we, Gina and I, were planning to do a couple of trips. First off, we had gone to England to, for two weeks to visit my son and his wife, and then we took a two-week break, and then we went to Florida for two weeks to visit my daughter and her husband. And prior to going to England, I had started shopping for a new pair of walking shoes, something that I could wear because I knew we were going to be doing all the touristy destinations, and I'd be on my feet a lot. And the shoes I had just weren't going to cut it. So uh, I began the process of looking for a pair of shoes. I'll actually show you what I chose in a minute. But what I found out is, one, finding the right fit was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And then I had to pay a little bit more than I really wanted. Now, in the end, I got a good pair of shoes and I was happy with them for two weeks in, in, uh, in London. But when I got back, that's when I received, from London that is, that's when I received this invitation from Fitville to take a look at their shoes. Now, if it had not been for my trip to London and the experience I went through finding a pair of shoes to wear there, then I probably would not have even considered this pair of shoes. But I knew that I'd be going to Florida in a few weeks afterwards. And I thought, you know, this is a good opportunity to take a look at these shoes, wear them for two weeks in Florida so that it's not just an out of the box type of a review. And more importantly, it was the type of shoes that Fitville was offering that made me uh, feel that they may be something you are worth looking at. It would be worth you taking a look at. All right. So having given you the backstory, I think the best thing to do is just to go down to the table stop, tabletop. I'm going to go over the shoes in a little bit of detail, not a lot, because I want to talk more about the company and the type of shoes they offer. But I am also going to be comparing these against the ones I did buy to go to England with. All right, let's get started. All right, as I mentioned, I will be giving you a little bit of detail about these shoes. These are the Men's Rebound Core, but uh, what I really want to focus in in on is the reason I chose a pair of shoes at all. And it had a lot to do with the fit of these shoes, at least at what they had to offer. And here is one of the key selling points for, at least for me, and I think for a lot of viewers, and that is the range of sizes that they have for offer. They have everything from a, a wide up to a 6XY. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen another company, and maybe there are other companies out there that offer up to a 6XY, but this is, these are in pretty much all of their offerings. They have that great a number of choices for you. And uh, it, you know that was important to me because that was part of my experience in picking the shoes out that I did wear to England was I was looking for something that would fit my wide forefoot, but still be well, how should I say, snug enough around the heel so that my feet didn't feel like they were slipping in and out of. So, uh, yeah, and the other reason, of course, is price. $90. $90 for a pair of good walking shoes is an exceptional deal. Now, you can buy cheap walking shoes in a lot of places, but are they going to be the quality that you're looking for? Well, I'll, well, I'll give you my experience with these ones, and I'll let you to decide if it's something that is of value to you as well. All right, so this is a walking shoe. Now, they do have a range of shoes. They have slippers, they have boots, they have all kinds of things. I originally thought I would like to have a pair of hiking boots, something to replace the ones I know I'm going to have to replace this spring anyway, but they didn't have ankle high or higher hiking boots. They have a pair of low hiking boots about this high, which are great, and in a lot of areas that would suit me just fine, but for the areas that I go in, being as rugged as they are, I really do like the support and protection that the 
entire uh, pair of boots have to offer. So they didn't have anything, otherwise that's what I would have chosen. I chose these because they are in fact a walking shoe, not a dress shoe or anything else. I knew I was going to be on my feet for a long time. Now the size I got is just a regular wide, not an extra wide or upwards of a 6X. I don't need anything quite that wide. Do you know, actually this is kind of strange. There was a point in my life when I did need a 2E, a double wide shoe. And the reason being is, one, I was a beat cop for a lot of years. And yes, the, the terminology flat foot is legitimate for a reason. Most of the time our feet do go flat and our feet splay out from walking the beats. Now, modern shoes, modern insoles and that type of thing have made a big difference there. And the other thing is I was a long distance runner. And as a long distance runner, I was putting a lot of pounding on my feet both of which contributed to my soles going or my arches going flat and my forefoot spreading out a lot. Now, strangely enough, since I've retired and had to give up long distance running and been wearing proper shoes, I find that my shoes have gone back to a more regular shape, if you will, but not completely. I still need a fair amount of room in the forefoot. So here's a couple of things that I was looking for. I was looking for something that would be comfortable, absolutely. I was looking for something that would have the width and the forefoot. I'll talk more to that in a minute. And very important to me, I was looking for something that I could use a set of orthotics in. Now let me just remove the insole to this pair of shoes. And uh, all right, nice insole, bit of, quite a bit of cushioning and quite a bit of arch support to go with it, uh, but not near enough. Not near enough for someone who wears orthotics. The nice thing is when I took these out and I slipped in my orthotics that I wear in my other shoes, they fit in perfectly. That's what I went to Florida with. That's what I spent the time on. That's why these look brand new is because I've never had to wear them with these. I've always worn them with the orthotics. And while I've got that out, let me just show you the inside of the shoe so you can see the sewn last. Now, if you're wondering why it's a little darker at the back than it is in the forefoot, that was actually caused by my orthotics. They just have a little uh, sole, almost like a heel on the bottom of the style of orthotics that I wear. And that's what discolored it there. Otherwise, it'd be all that lighter white color. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail of all the different technologies that are in these shoes because I think they are probably described best on the website. Suffice it to say, it has all the modern technologies, all the modern materials, including memory foam underneath the heel cap. It has a a hardened heel counter here and a dual density uh, sole on this so that you've got some, um, how should I say it? You've got anti-pronation built into it. Now it's not an anti-pronation shoe. I don't want to get you wrong. When I was running, there were shoes that had a higher density foam on this side that would keep your feet from rolling in. That's not this shoe. In fact, I don't want that kind of a shoe any longer. I wanted what's known as a neutral shoe because the orthotic will take care of the anti-pronation. But what this does, um, it, because of that hard counter, it does resist rolling to one side or the other. And that is a good thing, especially in a walking shoe. Again, it's not a running shoe. I know it looks like one, but it's not a running shoe. Other things I appreciated about this is the ventilation. Um, it is wide open mesh up here. So in Florida for two weeks, and I, I did a lot of hiking, or I did all the tourist destinations, all the theme parks and that type of thing. Uh, I appreciated the fact that I was ventilated well through here, as you can see. Um, yeah, so again, there's not a lot more to say about the shoe itself because they have so many offerings and because people's feet are so particular. You know what your feet are like. But I wanted to do is kind of spotlight this company a little bit as having good value options. Now, I think it's only fair that I show you two weeks of wear. Not bad, eh? Not bad. That discoloration, I looked at that a little harder to see. I thought, man, if I start to wear the rubber off? No, it's actually the way the rubber was molded. You can see here on the side. So that's not a wear mark at all. I cannot really find any wear marks. There's a little bit of dirt on them, of course, but I really cannot find any wear marks. Maybe a little scratches in here from going over pebbles and the like, but yeah, they, they look almost brand new. Mind you, again, it's only two weeks. And, uh, and of course, some wearing them when I got back home. But this is not a long-term review. I can't give you that because I haven't had them that long. But I can, can say is that they worked very well for the two weeks that I did use them. Now, I just want to speak to fit, and I'm going to bring in the other shoe that I bought to go to England with. 
So this is a Keen walking shoe made by the company Keen. And uh, I, I chose the Keen for a couple of reasons. One, I've had good experience with them, especially some of the older ones. My, my I have their sandals for <laughs> wearing in the summertime. I have their summer hiking boots, which are the ones I'm going to be replacing next spring. And I have their winter boots as well. So I've had some good experiences with the Keen. The reason I chose Keens in the first place and the reason I chose them again is because of their wide forefoot right up here. Uh, most shoes that will still fit me in the heel often are too narrow up here, but not this shoe. This shoe has a narrow heel or narrow enough. I mean, it's not overly narrow and a wide enough forefoot and a straight enough last, meaning if it comes straight out, it doesn't curve or one way or the other, that it worked for me. So this is a good quality shoe. It did take me a, a while to find these. I'm glad I purchased them. There's no, um, Nothing the bad to say about them, and I did wear them for two weeks, so I know that they uh, work for me uh, for that period of time, but I had to pay quite a bit for these shoes, and I mean, not exorbitant prices, but I had to pay considerably more, I think almost twice the cost that I paid for these Fit, uh, Fitville shoes. All right, so how can I compare the two of them side by side? Well, let me just bring that other shoe back in here. How is this going to work? Okay, I think this will work the best. So I'm going to talk about the forefoot because this is the area that I was most concerned with. The forefoot of the Keen, and this is not a double wide Keen, and they do have double wides. This is a regular wide Keen, and it is just spot on. There, and what I mean by that is it's just snug enough with the socks that I wear. I would not be able to wear thicker socks in it at all. And yeah, so it works just perfectly. Now, when it came to the Fitville, they are a little longer and towards a more pointed toe, but they are also wider through here. And what I found is that uh, I had more than enough room. In fact, I had, I, I wouldn't call it too much room because honestly, that's one thing you really cannot have too much of is room in the toe box at all. You really should give your toes as all the room that you can give them to a point. And what I mean by that is sometimes you can get a really wide shoe that is also really wide in the heel and doesn't grab your heel sufficiently and your foot slips around inside. That's not a good fit at all. But the more room you can give yourself up here, the better off your feet are. They should be allowed to splay out as they would naturally as you walk. Now, there is a limit on that as well. You don't want your foot shifting all over the place inside of the toe box either, but neither do you want it tight against the side of your feet. If you're gonna spend a lot of time on your feet, you do need to spend time getting the right fit for your shoes and having a wide toe box is a huge benefit uh, uh, in terms of, how should I say, it is a necessity that you give yourself enough room out front. And that's what the Fitville does in spades. They have all the size widths that will accommodate pretty much every person's feet needs at a much better price, literally half the price that I paid for these Keens. I'm not sorry about the Keens, don't get me wrong, but I do like the Fitvilles for that reason. They have the fit that I wanted, the fit that I needed at half the price. So yeah, okay, that's basically it. Let's wrap this video up. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few more comments for the Fitville Men's Core Rebound Walking Shoe. Actually, there's not a lot more to say. And again, uh, this pair of shoes fit me. I was glad that they sent them to me. They have a great shipping policy, a great return policy as well, because that's the one of the things that you want to know. In fact, I made a specific point of asking them about returns and exchanges, and they're very, very accommodating because, of course, if you're buying something online, sight unseen, from a company that you're not familiar with, you've never used their type of shoe before, are they going to fit? If they don't, how easy is it going to be to return and or exchange them? Well, Fitbill has got that covered. They take into consideration exactly that, that you are going to be shipping, uh, yet you may have to ship them back. So they make that process very easy. I didn't have to. I asked them uh, what would happen if they don't fit. And they said, no problem. We'll, we'll uh, give you another pair. And they didn't have to because these ones work for me. So I, again, I'm not focusing in on this shoe so much as I am that you take a look at the website. If you have a, a specific need for shoes that you have a hard time finding anywhere else without paying an exorbitant amount of money, this may be where you want to go. The other thing I just want to remind you is once again, this is not a long-term review. I don't consider two weeks of walking enough to give you a long-term durability. What I can say though, is that it gave me a really 
really good sense of how well these shoes would work for me. And they've, as I mentioned, have been working spot on perfectly. Um, okay, that's it. I will be putting all the information about these shoes and where you can take another look at them as well as all the other choices from Fitville. I'll put that in the video description. But if you have any comments or questions, then please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.